Welcome back. The Democratic Alliance now says it will contest any plans for government to give the go-ahead to use car power ships to alleviate our intense load chilling. That's after a report this week by Daily Maverick that's revealed a special directive from the Transport Minister ordering Transnet to find harbour space for three car power ships, gas to power ships, in the Kucha Harbour for the next 20 years. Kevin Milam is a member of Parliament for the Democratic Alliance. Kevin, good afternoon to you. Uh, we've seen in the last little while comments by the President, the Electricity Minister, the Energy Minister, and today the Minister of Public Enterprises, that car power ships should be used. Do you believe government is now planning to actually make it happen? I think they're doing everything they can to implement uh, the car power ship solution in our harbours. I think that it's something that needs to be monitored very, very closely. You know, Gwede Mantashe, when, when the uh, Risk Mitigation Independent Power Producers Procurement Program was initiated, uh, he rammed through the car power ships as a preferred bidder, despite the fact that they did not meet all the necessary criteria. And we're now in a situation where they still don't meet the criteria. They still haven't uh, got an EIA to do it. They have got the Transnet Authority in terms of the special Section 79 notice from the minister, but uh, they, they still do not meet the other criteria of a risk mitigation independent power producer procurement program uh, preferred bidder. You say you oppose this, but if the price is right, if it's only for a period of, say, two years or three years, wouldn't it be the right thing to do? I mean, let's be clear, as I'm sure you know, stage six load shedding is killing our economy. So we have said very clearly in our statements that we are opposed to the 20-year contract that is being proposed. Uh, Minister Mantashe then said that and he said this in, in personal discussions with me, that uh, they might look at a 10-year contract, but even that's too long. You know, this is meant to be emergency procurement. And so I would, I would say that a two- to three-year contract with an option to renew would be something that, that we should look at, but uh, a 20-year contract is definitely off the cards. Uh, there are various organizations which I think may be looking at going to court on this, environmental organizations, some of them. Um, there are technical issues that need to be resolved as well. Would you go to court to stop it? We will. We are, we are considering that as a, a last-ditch solution, provided that uh, there, there aren't other steps taken in the meantime. You know, they still have to meet uh, the environmental compliance in terms of an environmental impact assessment. That has to be approved by Minister Creasy. Uh, and there are a couple of other hoops that they have to jump through. But uh, at this stage, if, if it does go through and it is a long-term contract, we will be taking the matter further. So, Kevin, I hear the argument, but isn't the in load shedding now so intense? And isn't the damage it's doing to our economy so intense? I mean, people look back with fondness to stage two load shedding. I mean, that's a terrible thing. And we would be at stage two load shedding if we used these ships right now. Well, yeah, it is a terrible thing, and, and it's impacting the lives and livelihoods of every South African. It's, it's one of the major contributing factors to the, the fact that we have a 41% unemployment rate, and it's impacting our economy every single day. So, as I said, we would, we would be uh, supportive of a short-term solution, emergency solution, in order to allow ESCOM to, to do the necessary repairs that, that they have to do to fix their plants, to allow independent power producers to come online, uh, the renewable power producers to come online and other power producers. But we, we can't be locked into a 20-year contract that's going to cost 220 billion rand and, and then these ships sail off into the night having left an environmental mess and, and uh, cost the country a fortune. That, that's not on the cards. So as I said, an emergency procurement is something that you should look at for a short-term period, not 20 years. Kevin Milam, thank you, a member of Parliament for the Democratic Alliance.